This is ECP Hulu and today I'll be showing you the best settings for ABGX360 and showing you how to burn a 360 game on a Mac. So first what you want to do is you want to open up ABGX360. As you see here this program will pop up. So what you want to do next is you want to find your ISO file which you click on this folder right here. Next you want to choose where your file is located. As, for, as you see right here it's located in my downloads folder. And then scroll down till you see your folder like this. I'm actually doing LA Nord Disk 3. You want to hit that, open the ISO. Now let's get to the settings. Now you want to go to manually patch settings or extract settings. No, actually options, sorry. So for you want to click the boxes that I have here. Check create.dvd file. Check stealth, for the five stealth passes, use colors check for any DVD style game data corruption check for updates include a CSV check game partial CRC when needed next we will go be going to auto fix make sure this is at level 3 you must must make sure if you want a level 3 have this have everything else here checked but but this unchecked now you want to go miscellaneous select your console region code which is LB NTS NTSCU which, which is the US Prefer language anywhere you are located the country as for me I choose English. For split vid make sure you add it as it doesn't exist or isn't invalid. Make sure, make sure, make sure you must have that. So if you have just so if you're ready to launch, make sure you double check everything you have here. And now click launch. see for terminal it will pop up and show you about your ABGX console or whatever it's showing you. As you see right here this is an SSB1 and then the DMI. We need to, we need to manually patch the SSB1 so you mean SSB2 so it will be safe for you to play online. Now we'll get back to that part. Alright now we're moving to the next step on how to patch DMI and SSS patches manually. So first what we want to do is you want to find the SS and DMI file for your specific game. As you see I'm burning LA nor disk 3 and I'm manually step patching it. So you want to watch to go to the internet. abgx360.net. And then you're at the site. Now you want to go to your verified. Look for a specific game you want. As you can as I already told you I'm looking for LA nor. And now I'm burning disk 3. So you want to hit this the love the number three here all the way to the right of you and you want to download these two first they must be the same you cannot do the, do download that and download that so what you want to do is you want to right click it save link as and save where you want to desire I, I suggest to move to the desktop hit save as you see it's already exists and I'm going to replace it same thing with the DMI save link as Save it to the desktop. And there you go, now it's downloaded. Now moving on to manually patching it. So what you want to do is have these two boxes checked. And you want to have your patch DMI box checked and your patch SS box checked. So now you want to find the file. You want to hit that button and go to the desktop. Make sure you're looking for DMI, not the SS file. So you want to hit the DMI make sure this is that .bin files not dmi.bin make sure it's that .bmi bin file so you'll be able to find it hit open for next now for the patch ss same same procedure go to your desktop find the ss make sure it's that .bin.files hit open now go back to your options make sure this box is unchecked and you have this box checked checks backslash fix video padding now you want to launch it. As you see, terminal will pop up. ABGX360. As you see here, now it's now it looks valid. Patching SS was successful. It says V2. We're good to go. Now move. I'll be after this, and I'll be moving on to the step on how to burn your game on a on a on a dual -air. Alright, now we're on the final part of the video, which is burn the game to disk on a 4 Mac. So what you want to do is you want to open 
X360 ISO hacker. Click OK and this one will pop up. Make sure you have to have a super drive. If you have a combo drive, I'm sorry you cannot have you cannot burn it because you will need a dual layer burner and you need dual layers to burn this to burn the game. So what you want to do is you want to hit hack. You want to open up the ISO file that you want to burn. As you already see, I already located my ISO file, which is LANOR disk 3. You want to hit open now. As you already, as you see, there will be a hack button that would that would show, but it's it's already hacked because due to the fact that we launched, we ran through abgx360.goi. Now you want to hit burn. Now you want to open the ISO file. Look for your ISO and hit open. As you see here, I'll tell you the size, and it's and if it's already if it's already patched, you're good to go. Now you want to start burning. So as you burn disk and super drive, ready to burn. Make sure you have your dual layer in. Speed at 2.4x. It's up to you. You can verify burn the, the disk when it's done, or you don't. It's really up to you. And you can eject the disk when it's done. Now you want to hit burn. Now all you have to do is just play the winning game, and that's about it, guys. On how to the best things you can get for ABGX360 and how to burn a CD on a Mac, burn a game on a Mac. Thank you so much. Rate, comment, subscribe. If you need, if you have any com, if you have any questions, comments, leave a comment down below. Thank